All right, guys. This is the third character that I'm going to record at the same day. This is the on item level Velton with commentary. Uh, and this is the character I have. I actually don't have full relic sets for this person because I need more wings. I need the Vehicus wings. And this is a 33331 uh, Taijutsu Scrapper. So with the five gems, etc. So Taijutsu level three class. And then I have the Keen Blunt because I have 1331 crit chance with level one adrenaline. So my crit chance is pretty high with a decent amount of swiftness which is i put one earring into swiftness i think yep i put the earring to swiftness and the necklace to swiftness uh same case uh scrapper changed a lot scrapper now is much easier to do dps with because her charging blow uh changed into just a damage increase like a flat damage increase this used to be mandatory where it increases your attack power now instead of your starting attack being q and then your other skills she can use Q whenever she wants. She can use W whenever she wants. She can use the other skills whenever she wants. It's just that you have to make sure that you land your synergy skill first, which is 6% increase for yourself and your party. Since I'm lower in swiftness and have higher on crit, my skill doesn't rotate as fast enough. So my charge on the spirit is fast enough. So I, I don't need to use two green skills. If you happen to lack a lot of spirit because your swiftness is really uh, high uh, you would take something like judgment or more green skills so for roundup sweep you don't technically you don't have to use it but if you want to use it you can but i use the instant hit because it's a yellow skill and i want to keep my green skill at just death rattle because death rattle does more damage the more shock you have so imagine you use your roundup sweep and your shock meter goes down to like 50 percent or such a little bit lower, my death rattle is gonna be uh, doing less damage. So, since I since I have a lot of spirit uh, regeneration, I tend to not use uh, additional green skills. So let's see, let's choose a later position, uh, cause I haven't showed the later position, right? So I'll go six. So I'm number six in position, okay? So let me show you how it's. Uh, let me show how the six can do. Go behind them, death rattle out. He's doing this mechanic now. So I'm number six, so make sure you hit him a little bit so that you can see him. And and I'm gonna move around like that. And look at this. So it's two, three, four, right? Five, five's not eating, five's not eating. Why is it why isn't he eating? Five, hello? So we wipe because number five wasn't eating as fast enough. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> but it's a good example, right? It's a good example. That was a very good example of like, how should you not do it? The orbs. And I, and obviously, he didn't have enough information, right? He's supposed to have the information. But that was good. It's a, so it's a good, it's a, it's a good advice if you're planning to like, you know, do properly on orb eating. Uh, if you don't have a different strategy, that's fine. But when you're doing the all, all orb eating strategy, where most Koreans do, uh, those are the things that you need to watch out for. And again, Scrapper has two space bars. Very good. You can reach their back very easily. Synergy. Always land your synergy skill. Always. Whenever you can. Synergy again. He's gonna teleport after the 360. Gap close. When he teleports away, he's going to slash twice. So he so he's gonna slash twice. Slash once and 360. And then gap close. He gets hit because he doesn't know. And then ground explosion, walk around a little bit, see if you're safe first. Then gap close. Tornado, you gotta calm down a little bit. I think it's aggro to me. So I go to the wall side, away from the party mates. Not into the party mates. Charging blow again. So he does a 360, I got hit because I was dumb. So I got the golden buff this time. So I'm getting the blue one. The raid leader said the blue is going to be at 6 o'clock. So I go to 6 o'clock. I got comboed, which is bad. So I have to use a pot there. Right? Okay, he's gone already. I didn't really do much. There. Print the synergy. Death rattle. Stand still. 
and you have to walk away there, but I got hit twice. But you notice I tried to dash away, but I was a little slower mechanically, right? Like I knew what was happening, but I was dumb. Don't make the same mistake as I'm doing, okay? Dash twice. So he's doing his thing. Attack him once like that so that you can see his UI. So I'm number six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So you see five, it's your turn to eat it. That is the best way to figure it out. You don't need to look at anyone else. Just look at the UI. If it has a number five, since you're number six, you eat it. That is the best way to figure things out. I can show it to you again at the 15th line. So you notice the uh, the pub the pub uh, guy also did the Thyrain on the 15th line uh, when he just appears, right? Because that is the easiest way to land your Thyrain. Okay. Death rattle doing back attacks. So this thing, ice thing here, ice thing explodes and it, we all, everyone gets frozen. I'm pretty sure this happens in NA as well. Because no one really space bars in. The, the reason why that is so hard to dodge is because everyone gets that icicle thing. And it, it explodes everywhere. So it's better to just save your space bar and space bar inside. There you go. See? Normal attack. I'm number six, right? So look at this. The purple, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There you go. Easy. And if you're scared of dodging, you can go to the six o'clock, but I'll show you the actual way to dodge. So you go, the outside ring explodes, right? So you stand about here, and when you see the first explosion, you just dash it frontwards. And then you won't get hit. That's how you dodge it properly. Synergy. That's your back attack skill. Your back attack skill. Death rattle. And then you can use your charging blow to gap close. Synergy again. Gap close. Death rattle. Synergy again. Your other skill. Oops. Synergy again. He's gonna dash again. And he might dash again. Never mind. Nope. I'm gonna use my awakening, but I missed. Synergy, dash attack, death rattle. Very easy. Just combo. Very easy class, right? One of the easiest class ever. So, for those of you who are wondering why uh, Korean pubs don't use Wei, the Wei strat is good. The Wei strat is definitely good, but. Since most Koreans are so used to do DPS, they want to clear it faster. That's why we use Tyreen. Because we can do the orb mechanics anyway. We're here to clear it faster. Scrapper actually has a lot of destruction. His charging blow has destruction. And, uh, and my DPS skill, my death rattle has it. And my other skill has it too. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I have five destruction. So I can do eight by myself with the destruction bomb too. So you plus one on everything too. He's gonna like, he's gonna get his armor destroyed like uh, super fast. So when he does a charge, destruction, death rattle, and my other skill too. Yeah, see, look how fast his armor got destroyed. And when he does his next headbutt, okay, so he does his normal attack, he's gonna do his headbutt after. So we just wait, we're all just chilling, just chill, just chill. And when he does a headbutt, I'm gonna land all my skills. I'm gonna try to land all my skills. Look, charging blow, death rattle, my other smashing skill, and then my other skill too, and my charging blow again. That's already five. I might not even need to use the destruction bomb. Big, big weak damages. Look at that. Instant hit doesn't have weak point. So so look at this. I don't I don't even need to use my destruction bomb. Charging blow, death rattle, easy. So some people do use destruction, but I already provided the enough destruction that I need. Balthor. Nice Balthor. There you go. 
Since we attack so fast and so much, uh, he's gonna do the second spear after. I don't know the skill name for uh, uh, in English, so maybe I'll just use the letters like as an A, Q, etc., whatever. Alright, so Q, Synergy, he's going to counter, so I'm gonna do full DPS on the back. Synergy again, so I dash away here, and dash back in, and then keep attacking. Easy, back attack. Gotta go save him. Everyone, everyone just knows what they're doing. Everyone doesn't get, uh, their moves are very compact, if you know what I mean. Let me show you a different photo zone. So I click here, and then I can use the I can use my W skill to like appear. I think like that. <laughs> Synergy. Do you think full DPS? Full DPS? Full DPS? Synergy again. Instant hit. Instant at the same time, charge blue again, synergy again. Yeah, so everyone's movement is compact, very compact. They all just know what they're doing. Just chill out. You chill out when you do, you don't chill out when you do. You just do some DPS, move back to the pillar, and you will notice everyone go gap close again. Gap close again. It's me, so I'm gonna stay right here. Dash, dash, right? And dash a little bit more. It's good to stand still sometimes. I think it's... Okay, it's not me. It's not me. It was someone else. Someone else was aggroed. He's gonna do the grab mechanic now. I'm gonna go to the photo zone right here. Hello. Here are the two grunts. Then you press it. <laughs> Easy. You hear the sound. Hear the sound of two grunts. Gap close after. The world wins over. Okay, this is a three spear. So he chooses one target and then he's gonna jump into him, right? Save your skill. Save your movement skills. Space bar, space bar. Make sure you stay about closer to other people's too. Stay out sideways. Synergy skill. W, go to the other side. Synergy again. Do some deeps. Go behind the pillar. So let's see who gets chosen for the thing. Pizza. Not me. Synergy. Back attack. More back attack. Death rattle. The second explosion happens. Space bar away. So walk around first. Oh shit, I almost died. You see that? Woohoo! That was close. Could have died. But I'm lucky. So he has no... Uh, we have no... Um, Balthor. That means he said... Uh, press the time stop. So what I'm going to do is we're going to walk. If you keep walking on this... If you keep walking, you should be okay. Outside save, inside save. And then you dodge. That's how you do it. That's how I live. I went too fast and I killed the guys uh, behind me. But it's okay. I want to live. I wanted to live. Whirlwind first. He's going to do the grab. It's good for Scrapper because like he has his back, right? He's giving, he's giving you his back. See what it does? Normal attack. This is sideways safe. Got to the counter soon. Counter now. He's doing his counter too. Do your deeps, do your deeps, do your deeps. Two smashes. Counter. Okay. The The Shadow Hunter counter for us. Okay, good. Sideways safe again. So I'm gonna stay. Counter. Shadow Hunter did it again. Good. Synergy. When he does this, stay close. You have to stay close. He's going to do his grab. 
Since when he does his grab, right? You're safe for a while, right? This is when you kind of do your awakening. Use your awakening. But I didn't crit, which is bad. So synergy again. Death rattle. He's got to smash twice. And then counter on the bottom left side. Whirlwind. Synergy. He's going to his two smash. The counter is on bottom right side. Death rattle. This counter. Reflect. Everyone chill when he's doing the reflect. So here, he does that jump smash twice. There's a counter on the bottom. He's gonna do a grab now. Okay, I couldn't grab. He's gonna do a grab soon. He's probably gonna grab after this. So I'm gonna stay. So you notice I stayed on the floor for a bit, right? Reason why I did that is because I need to check uh, to see what he's going to do after. So that I can space bar away in a different timing. So that person got hit by that triple hit. Okay, sideways safe. Synergy. Doing deeps. Two smashes. Death rattle. And then you just do it. You just kill them. Mmm. I got a Balton card. Nice. But I, I have full Balton cards. Oh no, it's a Beatrice card. Oh shit. I have full I have full awakened Beatrice. And a Hitmaster engraving too. And I got an adrenaline engraving. I got a lot. That's good. To end up, there is a reason why I recommend Scrapper in the beginning. Do you know why? Is because did you guys see how easy she was? She's one of the easiest class to play and do DPS with as a back attacker. Uh, she has a bunch of super armors. This is a super armor, by the way. So let's say, I, let's say, remember I fell here, right? If this guy was uh, charging me in, I can just use this skill and do a gap close. Because I have super armor. Also, at the same time, I have two movement skills. Right? And, I have this, and I, I, this can be movement skill too. My R skill. And this is also movement skill. So I can use it that way too. And I have two space bars. Space bar... You are CC immune. You're basically super armor on, on space bars. So you can actually time your space bar like a little bit like that and then wait a little bit and then space bar again. Okay, so with that being said, I think, uh, I mean, we could have covered more stuff, but this this, pre this pretty much shows the on item level play of the scrapper, right? I mean, we do more, da like Korean users do more damage because we have more stuff. But usually it is cleaner because our movements are compact and we uh, just do utilizes the skills as much more okay all right that being said that ends the video bye guys bye youtube say bye youtube guys bye